Okay, so I've cut a section of cord and I've cut eight uh, stra strands and I'm gonna take and put a pin in here to hold it down. Oh my goodness. And I'm gonna use Lark's head to attach it. So fold the cord in half. And slide it under the anchor and loop it over and then pull the ends through the loop. So I'm going to continue on doing it till I have all my cords attached. So there I've got all of my cords attached. I'm going to take a pin and hold it down on the other side. So now what I'm going to do is I'm ready to start my square knots. And I'm going to pick up four strands. And when you make a square knot, you're working with four cords. The two outside cords are the working cords, and the center is your anchors. I'm going to take my left hand cord, and I'm going to put it over my two anchors. I'm going to put my right hand cord over the left hand cord, and then go under all of the cords and up through the loop, and secure it up close. And then I'm going to take my left hand cord and go under the anchor cords, and right hand cord under the left hand cord and over the anchors and tie it. And then I'm going to go to the next group of four. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my left cord over the anchors, my right cord over the left cord, and then under and through. And the opposite, going and creating the other half of the square knot. Okay, the next group of four, I'm taking my left cord over, my right cord over the left, and right under the two anchors, and sliding that up. And then my left cord under the anchors, my right cord under the left cord, and then up over the cords and through the loop. And my last group of four. Now I'm ready to start my my next row. What I'm going to do to alternate, I'm going to take my first two cords on the left and I'm just going to set them over to the side for this row and then I'm going to take the next group of four. And so you can see I'm taking two from each, each uh, previous square knot and I'm going to create another square knot 
And I'm going to do it a little bit lower. So I'm creating this space between. So this is where I'm developing the netting. And I go to the next four. And just create, and then just come up next there and try to get as the same space. And there. And I'm going to take my uh, the other two cords on the end and just put them over because they're not going to be worked with in this row. And then I'm creating my last square knot for this row. Okay. And so I'm going to bring these two cords back in and go for the next two cords. And I'm going to make another row of uh, square knots. And so what I've done is, as you can see, it's alternating and it creates that netting. In the next four. Kind of play with it there just to kind of get this same size loops have some uniformity. So what I'm doing is I'm making a distinct pattern with between the rows creating so you can see the row, but also the loops in between create the pattern and the spacing creates that netting effect. So as you can see, I've, with the three rows, it's pretty distinct. And then if I wanted to create a straight line down, I could just continue on like this. Or what you can do is I'm going to do another row alternating. And when I'm in that other row. Now, what I want, it, what I can do, is to create a tapered design or pattern. I'll take two and put them to the sides on either side. And so now I have four cords on the ends here that I'm not going to use. Okay, so what I'm doing is decreasing the number of square knots I'm making in each row so that I'm creating this diagonal pattern with, with the netting. So on the last row, I've got one right in the center there. And I'm going to make my last square knot. Oops. 
And there you have it. Netting created with square knot.